Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, let me start off by saying I'm sorry I haven't been posting on my uh, regular schedule. I should come out with my regular videos next week. So, yay! Now, today I am going to be doing a realistic portrait using watercolors. And the reason why I decided to do so was because I usually do not do realistic portraits. Plus, I just want to get better at them. So I figured this would be a fun challenge to do. Um, I did not sketch out, sorry, I did not film myself sketching this piece out because I actually did this in the course of two days. There was just a lot of, um, fine, fine tuning? I don't think that's the right word. I can't think of it at the moment. But I was just trying to get things perfect and there's a lot of erasing and a whole bunch of things is really unneeded. <laughs> um, I actually did not intend for the sketch to look like um, Hermione Granger. Sorry, that was my cat that just knocked my phone. Just ignore him. Okay, but anyway, I did not intend for this sketch to turn out looking like Hermione Granger, but once I was completed with it, I could kind of see it, so I just decided to go along with it and color her in as Hermione Granger. So, yeah, the first thing I decided to do was the skin tone because I knew I would have to do a decent amount of work on it just because there would be a lot of um, things I would have to do. I'd have to probably do a lot of layering and so on. Um, I did find sometimes that whenever I laid the pigment on, sometimes it would go on a little opaque or just simply a little too vibrant for my taste. Just be, um, while I do like vibrant colors, I just didn't think it would fit the face exactly, just because I was trying to get an actual skin tone. Maybe once I start getting better at these, I'll try doing some um, unrealistic skin tones, like a neon or a pink or something. But anyway, to fix that problem, um, I either simply uh, re-wetted the paper where the pigment was to lift the color and spread it out just to blend it out better, or um, if the pigment didn't dry, Yet, I would just go over it with a towel just to lift that pigment out. I'm repeating myself a lot. <laughs> don't mind me. It's, I think it's 8 o'clock right now. I don't want to check at the moment. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, so here I am adding some value into the skin. Just adding some shadows where her hair would lay. And yeah, I... Well, I did take a really long time with this. I think this video was 45 minutes and I didn't even record all of the portions of me painting it. But yeah, while I did take a really long time with this piece, um, not the piece in general, but like the skin tone, I did enjoy painting it. I thought it was very relaxing and therapeutic. But I personally, it was actually pretty fun and I did end up getting a pretty decent result. So I may try and do some more portraits until I can get it absolutely perfect. <laughs> As I painted the portrait, I did lose a bit of motivation just because I didn't think it looked good. Um, but I think personally it was just because it was going through the ugly phase before it ended up looking better. I know I've said this before, but usually with most of my paintings at least, the underlayer usually doesn't look good, but once you start adding more and more uh, value, etc., it ends up looking pretty decent. So, yeah. And since the skin tones appear to be a little lighter for my taste, I decided to darken it up and add some realistic shadows to the nose and some pink to the cheeks and so on. <laughs> Another thing I decided to do was wait to do the hair just because I wanted to really make sure I was happy with the skin before I started working on something I love working on. Um, not that I didn't love working on this piece, but <laughs> painting hair with watercolors for some reason, I just it's something I absolutely love to do. And, you know, here's a little spoiler alert. I personally love the results at the end. I think I did, um, obviously it's not perfect. I know there's a lot of people, a lot, well, I can't speak. There's a lot more people that are better than me, but 
it's really good considering how I have never done realistic art, per se. <laughs> um, anyway, since I have a little bit of time to kill, I'm going to do a small self-promo. Um, if you don't follow my Instagram already, do check it out. Um, it's literally the name of this channel, artist.therapy. I did end up opening another account, too. It is called... Um, I have to think of it. I literally just opened it today. Um, oh, Journaling Jesslyn. Um, I'll put links to both of them in the channel, the channel, in the description box down below. I decided to open a second account, second account, just because I've noticed my art journaling posts get, um, a, a decent amount of likes, and it's considerably less than my painting or drawing posts, so I figured since more people are here for my, um, paintings and other things, I would decide to make, um, a different account, <laughs> um, just so people would follow me if they liked that kind of thing, but I'm not going to open a second channel, I'm just going to, um, still do both things, both art journaling and painting and drawing and all kinds of things on this channel. It's just, I decided to open a second account just because of Instagram and stuff. <laughs> anyway, come to think of it though, um, maybe sometime in the near future, um, obviously not next week just because I already have video ideas planned, but maybe I'll make a video of how I draw my portraits. Um, and I think the reason why this video will be different from many others is that um, there are going to be mistakes. I'm going to be erasing a lot, but I think that helps the artist in a way. Um, tutorials I've used when I was first learning how to draw portraits, they always made me feel bad because um, they were just able to effortlessly draw whatever it was. I... I struggle with the whole face, to be honest, except for the general face shape, but I struggle with making the nose look good, making, oh, I hate drawing the eyes and the lips, <laughs> but in my opinion, I think showing the viewers that there is such thing as mistakes, it not only helps them feel better, but I guess in a way it shows them that not everyone's perfect. And I think um, after I practice a bit more with portraits and they start to look really, really good, maybe I'll make a tutorial or maybe just a time lapse of how I basically do my portrait painting. Oh, I just remembered. Okay, since I'm really hyped up about getting 100 subscribers, um, now I'm planning on what I'll do once I reach 200. So I did a poll on Instagram and it was actually a split vote between all of thing, all three things I suggested. The first thing was a room tour, the second thing was a giveaway, and the third thing was um, the thing I offered last time featuring your artwork, which I was surprised I got votes on that because no one submitted anything. So what I'm thinking of doing is... Um, I'll do a giveaway just because those seem to attract people more. <laughs> and then as I get closer to 200, I will say, um, I'll, yeah, I'll just make an announcement and make a video of how I'm planning on um, featuring my, uh, you guys, you guys, your guys' artwork. Um, if I don't get any submissions, I'll do the room tour as a video and reveal the giveaway winner which I think sounds pretty good. Um, but if that sounds interesting at all to you guys, um, do suggest my channel to other people who you would, you, I can really, I, I cannot speak. <laughs> do suggest my channel to people who, who you would think um, would like my content. And um, let me know down in the comments what you think, or if you have any other suggestions of what I should do when I hit 200 subscribers now on to the hair this is my favorite part of any portrait i do just because it's the easiest in my opinion 
So, looking at the reference picture um, of Emma Watson, who portrayed Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter movies, um, I noticed that she had blonder highlights in her hair, so I decided to do a blonde underlayer and then use some brown on top. And um, after I was done, I did go over the whole hair with some water just to soften up the harshness of the lines and make it look a bit more natural, in my opinion. And anyway, um, when I mentioned a reference picture, it wasn't because I was using the reference picture for drawing the portrait. I'm just using it um, once I decided to color in the portrait after I decided to take it the Hermione Granger route. <laughs> um, I think we're kind of coming to a close to the video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I'm still super happy about that. And if you guys do want to check out my two Instagram pages, artist.therapy and journaling Jesslyn, I will link those um, those two in the bio. Why do I keep saying bio? In the description box down below. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Another thing I am deciding on doing is um, uh, shouting out my subscriber of the week. Um, so this subscriber is always super supportive on my videos. She is so nice and I just love her. She's, she's so kind and just a very, very happy person overall. And that is artist Rebecca LS. She's so great guys. You should really check out her channel and her Instagram. I will link um, her channel in the description box down below just because I think she's more active on her channel than on her Instagram. So I'll just link that. But um, thank you so much, Rebecca. I hope you're listening. Um, I mean, I, I won't blame you if you aren't listening to the end of this video because it is a bit lengthy. Um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I think I've kept you guys long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, pretty relaxed video. I expect my regular type of videos um, next week. And um, what else? Well, if you want your artwork featured on my channel, when I hit 200 subscribers, um, check out the description box down below. And as always, if you want to check out my two Instagrams, I will link those as well. Do check out my, um, my art journaling Instagram. It's really small right now. And I, I, I want people to see it. <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, I will see you guys next video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you know every single time I post. And I will see you guys next video. Take care, guys.